uh, the concept of human security has gained has gained traction, and we have been all discussing about it. We want to see what is the best way, the most efficient way to measure it, and therefore link it to the sustainable development goals in a way that is science driven and could actually lead to better policies and better understanding of uh, conceptualizing and quantifiable this uh, sometimes broad concept. So uh, what is human security? Most people in this, in this room, in this virtual room already know. So we are trying to find how to encompass all these human rights, governance, access to education, healthcare, these issues that we all praise and we cherish into more scientific research and more efficient way of measuring, hence uh, building policies and uh, initiatives towards promoting it. So the broad aspects of human security as defined by the uh, UNDP back in 1994 and underpinning this whole process is are uh, human economic security, food security, health security, environmental security, personal community, and political security. And these aspects also uh, exhibit very large interrelations and interconnections between them. For example, the recent COVID crisis has identified the link between the health security and community security, health security and political security, and goes on. So this is something that we have to take in consideration when looking into the different aspects of human security. So what we do here, we take a range of human security reports. The baseline, of course, should be the human development report, which everyone here is familiar with, and this human development index. However, the concept of human development and human security is not identical. We can see this after looking at the recent uh, uh, reports from the um, UNDP, the Global Fragility and Anthropocene uh, in 2020, and also the special report on human security, something that implies that the Human Development Index and the issues addressed in the Human Development Report are to the same uh, context, but they are not sufficient in the discussion and the measurement of human security. So we keep that in mind. And also the multidimensional poverty index, uh, about which I will be talking very soon. So the three basic uh, tenets of the HDI is uh, living a long and healthy life, access and results of knowledge, and the decent standard of living measured by gross national income per capita. Over the last couple of, uh, over the last five years, the HDR has included the Planetary Adjusted Human Development Index, the Inequality Adjusted Human Development Index, and the gender equality index in order to incorporate more uh, pertinent issues and to complement this already um, um, broad definition of human development away from GDP, from simply addressing um, economic growth. So uh, the disparities are more or less well known. We see a clear connection, a clear, a clear uh, correlation with GDP per capita, with gross national income per capita, though uh, with obvious uh, exceptions or deviations from this um, um, diagonal line, which are much more evident when we look at the planetary pressures adjusted HDI. So what they do is they incorporate uh, the carbon dioxide emissions per capita and the material footprint per capita of each country to construct, to add a, a shifter to the, to the classical HDI and construct a different index. So we can see here that economies that are very uh, high in rank in terms of uh, GDP per capita, in some cases are more or less uh, a threat to the planet. So a threat to environmental security, we can see some uh, uh, honorable or not so honorable mentions in the uh, Gulf countries, but also advanced economies like the United States, Ireland, and Norway. So this gives us a better uh, view of the holistic concept. Also, the HDI across countries, within countries, is not the same for male and female individuals. We see a, sharp, a stark uh, shift of the, of the bullets in favor of men, in most of the economies, and this is not just in uh, developing countries. We can see here for the OECD sample, uh, only two Baltic countries, uh, Latvia and Lithuania, if I'm not mistaken, have a higher uh, record, have a higher score on the HDI 
for women compared to men. So all these aspects need to be incorporated to this end. We have uh, an array of metrics and different reports at hand. Here we present 11 of them, counting the, the HDR and the HDI. So uh, I'm skipping through this very briefly. <laughs> Obviously, there are more than, more than 30 reports and data sets that we are currently looking into with the main uh, goal being to link them to the SDGs that we were talking about. So to map these human security metrics, firstly, to the aspects or the classifications of human security that we have identified, and then map them to the SDGs in the beginning using uh, a conceptual methodology, uh, general to specific methodology, but we aim to improve this as we have been doing in the UNSTSN documents for the implementation of, of SDGs, as we have been doing in the IFORIA network and Professor Gunduri's team with uh, private enterprises mapping the ESG metrics to SDGs and also mapping the uh, policy uh, documents such as the European Green Deal to the sustainable development goals. So it is undisputable that the two notions are connected, human security and SDGs. To this end, we try to identify these metrics and help design and implement the policies towards the SDG realization. And some of them obviously uh, refer to specific goals in their uh, reports, in their context. However, there are other things that we have taken into consideration in trying to lead these flagship reports to the 16 SDGs with the, the exception of the, of, the, of the last SDG of global cooperation. So very briefly, this is what our analysis looks like at the moment uh, through our conceptual uh, linkage. So the size of the uh, of, of the connection indicates the uh, level of correlation between the two aspects. So it's in a, let's say, a preliminary basis, this study, we are incorporating uh, more reports, more data series, and we are linking them to specific sustainable development goals. At the moment, we're looking at the 16 goals and uh, moving forward, we would like to also address the 169 sub-indexes of these SDGs as used by the Sustainable Development Report of the UNSDSN, and also look into uh, machine learning techniques with textual analysis to better understand how these two aspects, how these two notions uh, communicate. So in the end, we would like to see how do the measurements, how do the gorges of human security aspects predict a performance in the realm of SDGs? So is it in accordance to what the official reports say about each country's record in SDG implementation? So if so, it means that there is a direct link and that we can also predict uh, future performance based on the data we have at hand.